it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I would like to make this little flower here. Well, it looks like a key ring holder, which it could be, but I am intending this as a little pocket hug. So I want to give this to someone special, to my daughter for instance, and I would like her to attach it to her running outfit when she goes on those crazy long marathons that she runs. So I would like it to serve as a little pocket hug to give her some emotional support for when she's doing a hard thing. So let's get going. So for today's project you'll be needing some King Cole Cotton Soft. This is a 100% cotton yarn and it's ideal for projects like this. It's DK thickness so I am using my 3.5 although it is prescribed for a 4mm hook use the hook that you usually use for DK okay I'm using the colors lavender sage and hot pink I also have a darning needle and scissors of course and I have some hardware now the hardware you can find in my Amazon shop and the cotton you can find on our website so do go and have a look for that so let's get started with the middle of our flower. So we're going to make a magic circle. So make a cross over your fingers like this with the start of your yarn in your hand. There we go. And then using your hook, you're going to go under this strand here. You bring back the back strand. You twist it slightly and go back to that back strand. So this is your working yarn. Twist your fingers and then bring it through the loop on your hook. And so we're going to get started by doing one chain. So one chain. So this is for making up the height of our stitch that we're going to be doing as follows. So now we're going to do two double crochets together. So you yarn over, you go into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. This is where we're going to stop because we have to do a together. That means we're going to finish the two double crochets together. So we start again, yarn over into the circle and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the two loops on your hook. Now you have three loops on your hook and now it is time for the together bit where we are going to yarn over and pull through the three loops. As you can see, I'm holding my magic circle tension, which helps with working in it. Then we're going to do a chain one and this is what we're going to repeat eight times. So this is our first repeat. Now our second repeat starts. So two double crochets together, yarn over, insert into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and stop there, yarn over, insert into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and stop there, yarn over and pull through the three loops, chain one. Okay, so this is what we are creating. Now here we work over the bit where there are two strands. So if this bit gets shorter, do a little pull so you have more space to work with. And obviously don't be working on this bit because then the magic circle is not going to be so magical. So let's keep going, as I said, eight times. So I have six more to do and I will see you when I have done those. So I have done my two double crochets together, chain one, eight times. And now I'm going to pull my end here of my magic circle. I keep everything sort of in between my hands so it doesn't go all wavy and look at that what a lovely circle we have so now we're just going to close the round here you see yeah that's that chain this is the first V that you can recognize so I tend to go under that and do a, a slip stitch there we go okay so now we're going to cut off the yarn and pull it through voila now, of course, we can still with this end pull this much closer if we wanted to. So make sure you do that when you are actually sewing in your ends. So now with my hot pink, I'm going to get started with a slip knot. Insert your hook 
and we're going to get started with a standing stitch so we're acting as if we are already crocheting and this time we're going to do a five double crochet pop chain two repeat so yarn over as if you're already crocheting take up your circle and find the chain one spaces there we go so this is what we are going to be working in and we're going to do a five double crochet pop so that means you do five double crochets all of them into that chain one space and of course you've got eight chain one spaces so we will be repeating this in each chain one space all around our little disc here there we go so that's five double crochets you pull up your loop you take your hook out you count back five stitches and of course here it is in that standing stitch it always closes up for me but I'm just going to go in it there we go wherever you can go into it just go into it then put the loop back on your hook and bring it through the stitch doing a chain two afterwards there we go so that's our first repeat done so now for the second repeat go to the next chain one space you do five double crochets three four and five voila pull up the loop one two three four five go under the fifth v put the loop back on your hook pull it through and you do one two chains and this is how you are going to continue until you have repeated this eight times i will see you at the end of the round so I've made it all the way around. I finished with my two chains. Now, if you look at that first popcorn that you made, you will see that there's a V on top of it. It's always a little bit bigger, that one. So we're going to go and close our round by doing a slip stitch into there. So let's keep the end out of the way, voila. So let's do the slip stitch, there we go. Then you do a chain one and we're going to need to do a single crochet into that location. So that's what we'll do. So back into that same location for a single crochet. Now we're going to be working in the chain two spaces and in there we're going to place one half double crochet, three double crochets, one, two and three and one half double crochet voila then you look at your popcorn and there is that bigger v there and that's where you're going to go in and do a single crochet voila and this is how you will continue and of course you'll be doing this eight times because we have eight chain two spaces so I will see you at the end of the round voila so I have made it all the way around and now here I'm looking at that first single crochet that we did here let's go under this V and do a slip stitch there we go okay so now to be honest you could just leave it like this um, this is the back it doesn't look wrong it doesn't look too bad but I have made a second one and I'm going to be crocheting them together I just wanted it to be a nice bulky item to be honest um, and then, you know, if it sort of flips about, you see both sides and they're both pretty. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch these together. So obviously with the good sides on the outside, see where you are here. So let's see 
if I can pick up so I'm coming out of this stitch here I'm going to be picking up the back loop of this one here let me just drop that other one there pick up the back loop if you can that yarn is in the way there we go back loop then here putting the yarn above it I'm going to try and find the same location of stitch of course so I'm going to have to find a single crochet here tally these up and find the back loop of that one now that's a lot easier said than done when you're not in a not looking in a viewfinder yeah so the back loop here is the one of course that's the closest to you but of course you've got this facing away from you that's why it is a little bit different there we go so pull that through and pull it through the loop on your hook and now we have lift off so now we're going to tally up the back loop here and the back loop there and we do a slip stitch so this is what I call the inner loop slip stitch voila so on one side let me just continue with this stitch here on one side it will look like this and on the other side it will look like that but I think that's fine so let's continue and this is now the time for you to also check yeah so this one and then the next one yeah so I am tallying them up correctly so I am going to continue like this um, just making sure that you tally up the stitches all along your flower edge I've nearly made it round and I've put a little bit of stuffing in just so that it would be a little bit thicker than what it would be if it was just without stuffing. Obviously you don't need to do this but I just thought it would make a nice addition. I've made it all the way around and here I'm just going to try and pick up some sort of strands, maybe even something that's a little bit deeper down even just to oh yeah there's one here look just to sort of try and go under that one to do like a closing slip stitch so there we go so that is our little flower so in sage I'm going to make my stalk so I have about one meter of yarn here and then my working yarn here so the yarn that's coming from the ball so here is where I'm going to make my slip knot so I'll have two ends coming from my slip knot this end I'm going to hold as usual and this end here I'm going to hold to the front so I'm going to pick up the front pick up the back hold on to the little knot that we've made and pull the yarn through the two loops on your hook same thing again and pull through so you pick up the front one from the middle to the front and the back one from the middle to the front and you pull it through. And it will get a little bit easier once you have something to hold on to. There we go. So really we're making a chain that's a little bit thicker than just the simple chain. So this is what they call an I-cord. So using two strands and I'm going to make this about this long <laughs> so that's about eight ten centimeters now I'm going to let go of my yarn that I have here and I'm going to continue with a single strand to make a leaf so I'm now going to chain six one two three four five and six then in the second chain from the hook I'm going to place one single crochet then in the next I'm going to place a double crochet another double crochet in the next stitch 
then in the next stitch a half double crochet and in the next stitch a single crochet voila then I do a chain you turn your work so you are now ready make sure you don't get this one too involved so let's just put this to the side there uh, so now you're ready to work on the other side here so another chain and we work our way back along the chain doing the stitches that we did before so a single crochet on top of the single crochet a half double crochet on top of the half double crochet here I am doing double crochet another double crochet and here what was it again a single crochet so no yarn over single crochet in there voila then we do a slip stitch under this stitch here to close our round and now we're going to do a middle vein of slip stitches once again going through the stitches that we have already used twice this time we go into them to place our slip stitches. So you work your way back, let's see, to the chain. Voila, all the way back to the location and a slip stitch into the eye cord there. Now we have our two strands again and we just continue doing our chain or our eye cord. So cut it off with quite long ends so we can use those to attach it to the flower later on. So let's make the heart. So we're going to get started with a magic circle. So holding the yarn in your hand like this, wrap it around your fingers like so. You're going to pick up this part. You're going to bring back the back strand to the front. Then you go back to the back strand and you pull it through the loop on your hook. There we go. And now we're going to chain three, one, two, and three and we're going to do three trebles. So a treble means yarn over twice, you go into the magic circle and you complete your treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we need to do a third one. Next we are going to do three double crochets. So that means you're going to yarn over once, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. And you repeat this twice more so you have three double crochets. And here if your circle is getting too big because you don't have enough space to work here you just gently pull it making it a little bit smaller but giving you a little bit more working space here with these two strands and then you will be doing a chain one one treble crochet a chain one and three double crochets. One, two and three and then you're going to do three treble crochets. One, two and three. And then you do three chains. One, two, and three. So now we have done all the stitches that we need for a heart and if we gently pull our magic circle it will come together as a little heart shape. So we just need to do one more stitch to close our round and we're going to do that into the magic circle there 
and you do a slip stitch. There we go. And that's a very easy and quick way to make a little heart. Voila! So now let's put all our parts together and attach them to the hardware. So I'm using a thinner needle than I would normally because this is like fine work here, okay? So I've got my little heart, I've put one of the ends on my needle. I'm just going to go through the end of the stalk there. Voila. And I'm going to, while I sew in my ends of my heart, I'm going to attach the green stalk. So just go into the heart for a couple of times. There we go. And now I'm going to go through the heart again a couple of times, but also through my little stalk. So make sure that while you are attaching it, that it is going to be still coming out from the top of your heart there. Okay. Now that we've attached the little heart, it's time for our flower. So let's put that on the needle and we're just going to try and go through the flower about here. Come back out and keep it tidy so it doesn't look too distorted. And into the stalk and back in again, look at that. Just a couple of times so it looks as if it was crocheted on. There we go. Okay. And then to get rid of the rest of your thread, I just weave it into the eye cord. And if you can make it all the way up to the leaf, you could weave it into there as well. And this will make it stronger still. Voila, there we go. And then with the next one, I'm going to do just about the same thing. But again, make sure you don't put too many strands onto your flower so it doesn't look wrong. But just, you know, extra security here. And voila. And once again, into the eye cord. So let's cut it off. And now, of course, we have to attach it to this. And I find these needles here are perfect for doing this because, of course, I can't do it with my nails, but I can get in between it with this needle here. This now gives me an opening to not only put this one on so I can attach it, but also to put a few strands from the eye cord on there. Let's put it up a bit higher. There we go. See? So I've got it all on there. Now all I do is roll it around. The needle comes off and these ones are attached on there. There we go. I really do hope you like this project and that you would consider subscribing to my channel. I really enjoy making projects that everyone can achieve, large or small, like this one. I also have a Facebook group where I would love to see your Ophelia Talks makes. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!